The election is now 18 days away, and even a charity gala cannot stop the sniping between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. They traded barbs at a dinner in New York that traditionally features the Republican and Democratic nominees. Now, this lighthearted atmosphere took an awkward turn during <laughs> the speeches, but in the end, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump shook hands, something they did not do at their final debate. We were all there last night, and Margaret, we all know it was really something to watch. Front row seat, yes. it really was a something to watch. A very unlikely dinner date for Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, and likely their last face-to-face -face meeting before Election Day. It was supposed to be a good-natured ribbing to raise money for charity, but there were boos after the Republican nominee went on the attack. A veritable act of God brought Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton together. Hillary accidentally bumped into me, and she very civilly said, pardon me. <laughs> Let me talk to you about that after I get into office. The Archbishop of New York got the two presidential candidates to break bread and trade jokes. People look at the Statue of Liberty, and they see a proud symbol. Donald looks at the Statue of Liberty and sees a four. Maybe a five if she loses the torch and tablet and changes her hair. The long tradition of candidates poking fun at themselves and each other at the New York charity White Tide Dinner is meant to honor politician Al Smith, who in 1928 was the first Catholic U.S. presidential nominee. The goodwill did not last example, long. Hillary believes that it's vital to deceive the people by having one public policy. The well-heeled crowd booed some of Trump's nastier jabs. Here she is tonight in public, pretending not to hate Catholics. <laughs> Trump feigned offense that the media praised First Lady Michelle Obama's 2008 convention speech, but criticized Melania for plagiarizing it. My wife Melania gives the exact same speech. <laughs> And people get on her case. And I don't get it. And Clinton nodded to her habit of avoiding questions from the press. And look at this dais. We got Charlie Rose and Maria Bartiromo and Chris Matthews and Gail King and Nora O'Donnell and Katie Couric. This counts as a press conference, right? <laughs> Well, it was all good fun. Neither of those candidates is really known for their sense of humor. But by the end of the night, $6 million had been raised for impoverished children here in New York. And you guys got to shout out. And at out. the end of the day, that's the most important thing. But there were yes. a couple of very awkward moments where you're trying to hold your face on straight. Because yes. that, that, in that room, they say, Charlie, you've been there many times, that people are never booed. They said that that was the first time that anybody had ever been booed on the podium. And it's such, I think that says something. It, it, Nastiness is not the tone. Yeah. It's supposed the tone to be about, is supposed yeah. to be sort of really poking fun. Yes, yes, uh, yes. And about unity. About yourself. It's supposed to be more self-deprecating than anything. Yeah, else. it was a little rough.